Well, tourists will be heading to Tulsa over the next six weeks. There's a lot of events taking place, with the biggest being the PGA Championship. News Channel 8's Jeff Morgan spoke with Visit Tulsa about how the stacked lineup is helping Tulsa businesses. Jeff? Brenna, Tulsa is expecting May to be the biggest month for tourism in the city's history, and that is fueling the biggest year in, for tourism in the city's history in 2022. Many of the events packing the May calendar have been here before. The PGA hosted the Senior Championship last year, Ironman is back for its second year, and the Tulsa Race Massacre anniversary is on the national stage once again. This time, COVID restrictions aren't limiting the festivities. It's an exciting time. It's a great time to be in Tulsa. There's a lot going on, kind of anything for everyone. This boost in local tourism is timed perfectly for bars and restaurants like Arnie's that struggled to secure government assistance during the shutdown. Uh, sales have been good uh, this year. Um, I mean, everyone's coming out of the pandemic and we're, we're, uh, we're flourishing. Chris Armstrong owns Arnie's and hosts the St. Patrick's Day and Cinco de Mayo festivals each year. Staffing those events or just big weekends like Tulsa Tough is a challenge. We beg, borrow, and steal from other bars and, and even bar owners from other bars actually come and help and family members. and The big event this spring is the PGA Championship. While golfers invaded Tulsa a year ago, the Senior Championship is four to five times smaller than what's coming May 19th. The PGA alone is, is going to be 10,000 plus rooms. Um, it's kind of crazy how big of an mm -hmm. event, event that is. Um, with $143 million in economic impact, which obviously, again, just blows it out of the water. Ashley Backert says part of the reason people are choosing Tulsa is Oklahoma was open during the pandemic. People visited and fell in love with the city. Now, the surge in events doesn't end in May. It continues into June with Juneteenth and Tulsa Tough fueling its way through the summer. Reporting live from Lookout Mountain, Jeff Morgan, News Channel 8.